Hello there, how are you doing? Welcome back to Gamer Central. So guys, in today's video we are going to discuss the real reasons why It's Funny is starting to lose subscribers in 2022. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notifications for more videos. Let's discuss why It's Funny is starting to lose subscribers in 2022. Number 1. Detached from her fans. Sure we all know how great it is to watch our favorite channels videos. We spend hours and hours of our day entertained by content that is intriguing, exciting, and funny. But I think we can all agree that one of the main things we love about these YouTubers is that we can interact with them. The communications between a creator and their audience is not only the greatest experience on the site, but it's also extremely important when it comes to maintaining a healthy and progressive relationship between the two. We see several YouTubers try their best to connect with their fans via comments, giveaways, live streams, and many other ways. Such instances make their audience feel their opinion and words are valued, and it goes a long way in developing a close community bond. So for a YouTuber like It's Funny, who has such a huge fan base, you'd expect they'd make some sort of effort to communicate with their fans. However, this is unfortunately not the case for her. On any of her videos, you can see that she almost never replies to any of the comments her fans make. Furthermore, she doesn't host any sort of giveaways and fails to attend fan meetings and events. Though she has an inbox for fan mail, she doesn't really do much with this either, as she barely showcases fan mail in any videos of hers. By failing to have any sort of fan interaction, she's missing out on a big opportunity to foster a feeling of belonging and closeness amongst her viewers, which is the main reason why she isn't performing as well as she once was. Number 2. Too Many Games We watch YouTubers because of the journey they take us on. On most occasions, they focus on on one or two games to play, so that we can witness their progress. This makes us more attached to their content, and we're not only watching a single YouTube video, but we're actually watching what is the accumulation of several videos and hours of effort. It's Funny used to be very good at making such content, as her uploads usually centered around a small number of Roblox games. Now, however, she's decided to play more different Roblox games at once, with no particular pattern of uploads, though she most probably did this to diversify her content and appeal to a wider range of subscribers. It's just distorted her channel. We now no longer feel the same attachment we once felt because we no longer have one particular game to stick with. Hence, it's discouraged her audience quite a bit from viewing her videos. Number 3. All Over The Place It's one thing to lose your focus by playing too many games, but it's another thing to not playing games at all. That's diversification on a whole other level. This is exactly exactly what's happened to It's Funny in recent times, as her crew don't seem to be really concerned with Roblox anymore, which is surprising considering that Roblox is the game which made her famous in the first place. She makes a lot more videos on other topics, mainly being vlogs with her siblings. Some of her vlog videos have received millions of views, such as her videos titled Cooking with Crew and Road Trips to the Mountain with Crew, which is what perhaps encouraged her to make more and more of such content. Though we we love to see our favorite personalities' daily lives and struggles, sometimes it's a bit too much. These videos may appeal to some viewers, however it seems as though she's betraying her roots and her core fan base that made her the popular personality that she is today. As a result of this, a portion of her subscribers have been left gravely disappointed and have thus abandoned her channel altogether. In situations such as these, it would be incredibly handy to be able to communicate with your fans and get to know how they feel about your videos. However, as we've mentioned before, she's not the best at that. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video.